Sometimes it isn't the timing, but time itself that makes us laugh the hardest. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious slow motion movie scenes. For this list, we've chosen either intentionally funny slow-mo movie scenes or those that were just plain overkill. If you didn't see a slow motion movie scene you think should be on the list, be sure to check out our video of the top 10 action-packed slow motion scenes. Number 10, Just Die Already, Karate Girl. <laughs> First on our list is a 70s Turkish film about a woman seeking to avenge the murder of her father and husband. In 2012, a YouTube upload of this so-called worst movie death scene ever sparked over 17 million views and quickly became its own meme before being shut down for copyright infringement. Although the screaming heard in the YouTube version wasn't part of the original movie scene, the mustachioed villain's death is actually that drawn out and outrageous. Number 9. Quaaludes 101, The Wolf of Wall Street. Don't know what a lewd is? I'll tell you. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Looks like those lewds are working their magic on Donnie right now. Don't you just hate it when you're at a business meeting and those pesky quaaludes kick in and everyone starts making fun of you and you're just too wrecked to even speak? Then you'd have a lot in common with Jonah Hill's character in The Wolf of Wall Street. Steve Madden. Steve. Steve. Donnie Azoff's high starts taking over right about the same time he tries to explain himself at what looks to be the most laid-back powwow in the history of Wall Street. Didn't take long for people to start abusing lewds, of course. And in 1982, the U.S. government schedule won them, along with the rest of the world. Number 8. Tai Lung vs. Po, Kung Fu Panda. Who are you? Buddy, I am the Dragon Warrior. In this scene, Po is forced to fight Tai Lung to prevent the evil snow leopard from exacting revenge on his old kung fu master and getting his hands on the dragon scroll. <laughs> tai Lung thinks he can easily defeat the giant panda with his impressive skill and discipline. but. Clearly, he's caught off guard by Poe's rather unorthodox yet highly effective fighting style. Number 7. Opening Credits, Zombieland. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. This flick's opening scene sets up the rest of the film to be violent, bloody, and laugh out loud funny. Even though zombies are basically mindless cannibals, there's always been an underlying touch of humor about them. The slow motion sequence of the opening credits adds another depth of comedy to the mix because we can now plainly see people running for their lives and the familiar beasts that chase them. You have to admit that getting attacked by your new bride does have a twisted sense of hilarity to it. Number 6. Tranquilizer to the jugular, old school. Hey, hey, be careful with that. That's the most powerful trank gun on the market, huh? In this comedy about a group of 30-somethings trying to regain their youth and freedom by opening a fraternity, we find Will Ferrell at a kid's birthday party talking to the animal keeper. They say it can puncture the skin of a rhino from a... <laughs> who's a mullet-toting Sean William Scott. 
Is this bad? You should pull that out. That shit is not cool. Wait. Wait. Pull it out. Did anyone do a background check on this guy before they hired him? Got a dart in your neck. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. Seriously, a child could get seriously hurt with that tranquilizer gun. Oh, wait. One just did. <laughs> Number five, platoon parody, Tropic Thunder. Come on, elevator! Ah! Ah! It's funny. In this movie, about a group of diverse actors playing soldiers in a Vietnam War era film, the stars find themselves biting off more than they can chew when they're left stranded in the jungle. Oh! This particular scene has Ben Stiller's character, Tug Speedman, showing that he can and will upstage his fellow thespians by taking absolutely forever to die and doing so in the most delightfully over-the-top fashion. You make it home now. Come to think of it, delightful and over-the-top pretty much sum up the rest of the movie. Survive. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. I know there's a lot riding on it, but it's all psychological. Number four, the mental patient, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. I'm gonna execute a button hook pattern super slow-mo. <laughs> Although it's technically not in slow motion, Jim Carrey almost fools us in this hysterical scene that's got Ace Ventura pretending to be a mentally ill ex-footballer so he can sneak into the storage room of a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> Larry's worker boots and tutu add an extra layer of Carrie-esque absurdity to the fold, as he slowly takes us through a football play that even has Courtney Cox struggling to keep a straight face. An instant replay. <laughs> Number three, printer assassination, office space. What did you steal? Call it a going away present. In one of this comedy's most memorable scenes, we are honored to bear witness to the brutal death of this crappy piece of office machinery. Jeez. Back up in your ass with the resurrection. Is the group harder than an erection that shows no affection? What makes it so funny is the passionate and savage disembodiment of the printer's many useless parts, the utter callousness of its abusers, and the straight-up gangster way it's all carried out. Here's one thing you can say about these guys, though. They really are the heroes of the corporate world. Number two, gas station accident, Zoolander. You know what could really help you sort through these important issues? What? Orange Mocha Frappuccino! <laughs> what makes this scene so funny is that while the male models involved are ridiculously good looking, they're also so ridiculously stupid that you immediately cease caring about their welfare. Sure, they're cute and childishly naive, but come on. We're not sure if this is meant to teach kids not to spray their friends with gasoline or if it's that smoking is bad. But whatever the lesson, it's ridiculously, ridiculously hilarious. Did we mention it's ridiculous? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions.
on, who's driving? Oh, it's okay, it's on cruise control. Number one, The Car Crash, Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. Best thing I ever did was install this deep fryer in the bago. Ron, why do you have this bag of bowling balls in this terrarium filled with scorpions? In this sequel to one of the most beloved comedies of the new millennium, Ron Burgundy makes the classic driving mistake of confusing cruise control for autopilot. Hey Ron, cruise control just regulates speed. It doesn't steer. Come again? No! As a result, the slow tumbling and flipping of their van leaves every news team member fighting for his life. Not only from the impending crash, but also from the most random assortment of dangers within the van itself. Sam is so skinny. <laughs> The film's no oldie, but it sure is a goodie. Do you agree with our list? What other slow motion scenes crack you up? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You're crazy. I like you. But you're crazy. I feel tired.